Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> a lot going on in India. So let's jump straight into it. There are a few words in this whole India issue that makes it quite confusing. So let's clarify that before we move on. The ruling party of India, the BJP is struggling. But of course, fixing the country and its economy is just too much hard work, frankly. And not be a quitter, no matter how bad you want to just fall flat on your face and collapse. So they've decided to take the easy way out by distracting the masses. And what better way than the go-to weapon for most of these right-wing leaders, which is stoking religious hatred. How so, oh boyishly handsome guy? Don't try it, boy. Right. So first they needed to determine who is an Indian and who isn't. They used the state of Assam as a guinea pig for this. Now this is where the term NRC comes from, which stands for National Register of Citizens. So when they tried this in Assam, they realized that majority of the illegals were Hindus. So then, just like any other amazing democracy does, they added and changed the law to facilitate their own view. And then they said, if you don't have papers, as long as you're Jain, Parsi, Sikh, Buddhist, Hindu or Christian, you can still stay. Of course, if you are paying attention to the list, they purposely missed out Muslims. What? So this is what's known as the CAA, the Citizenship Amendment Act, or also known as CAB not to be confused with T-A-X-I. Last night, things took a sinister turn. It was trending all over Twitter since last night. As I'm sure you guys are aware, there were many protests taking place nationwide, yeah? And one of those places was the university, yeah? Called Jamia Milia Islamia. But it seems like the government wanted to use this to their favor. Why? Because considering most of the people are against this bill, if they make it seem like it's the Muslims, yeah, all cameras on the Muslims, there's already anti-Muslim sentiment anyway, so people will naturally back off because they're going to be seen as anti-national or siding with the terrorists. So now is where the fake news jumped in. They took a clip and made it seem like these people were anti-Hindu. But of course we know it was disproved, yeah? So that's now when the government jumps in as the saviour. Look, we're the saviour <laughs> against these barbarians. Now here's a clip of Modi saying that these people are lighting buses on fire. Here are a few clips that have emerged of police setting fire to the buses and making it seem and blaming the students. Because let's face it, even though they are passionate, they are educated young kids. And despite a few, a few of them, it's most likely going to be a peaceful protest. So let's see how the world's biggest democracy handles such, let's face it, standard protests. I'm sure they're aware their students in a university mate, yeah? Young, energetic students. Well apparently the police just didn't care. As you can see, here they are storming the university. Here are they throwing stones, throwing tear gas, using guns to disperse the crowd. But I know what you're thinking, yeah? Look, they're just trying to control the people and just scare them a little bit. All right, all right, maybe, maybe you're right. Hang on a minute. Is that the police vandalizing public property with sticks? As if it can't get more worse than that. Here is a report saying that the police were turning off lights in the university to hide their violence and 
abuse of women. Of course stuff like that can never be verified because there's no CCTV evidence. And here is the video that we get the picture where a woman is standing in front of a policeman telling him to stop. What these few women are doing is stopping the police from beating this young man. But the police want to get him so bad that they are content with just poking and prodding him with their sticks. What is going on in India? What has it become? The students have been incredibly brave. They have been underestimated by the government and are tolerating a lot of police brutality for the sake of their nation. It really is an inspiration for all of us youngsters watching because if we decide to stop wasting our life, I'm sure we can shake the foundations of power as well. But of course, if we decide to do so, that is. I'm a student here, I'm a law student here. I'm a constitution exam here today. I'm a student here, I'm a student here. 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 काश देख पाते वो लोग आकर अंदर की रात भर में बच्चों को प्रोटेस्ट करने से रोकने के लिए हम सब के साथ क्या किया है गर्ल्स हॉस्टल में घुस गए बॉयज हॉस्टल में घुस गए बच्चे जान के लिए भाग रहे हैं कोई फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता ये डेमोक्रेसी है कौन रह रहे हैं मुझे बताइए ना कौन आंसर करेगा मुझे अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम गाइस असलाकुम